M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofun Mini UV5R. Very popular. I've had so many people message me and tell me they've purchased this little radio because they're selling for about £15. And they've got a very nice colour screen, Bluetooth programming, which is what this video is about. Airband, which is I would, a bit scratchy, but it does work. It's usable. And then they use a VHF, UHF. I think pretty sure it'll do PMR and GMRS. I'm not seeing 220 at the moment. So I've just read it. I've just read from the radio and you can see uh, it's read it, no problem at all. And you can see the existing memory channels, channel one going down the side there. The name, the frequency and the CTCSS. So let's go to a new one. And have you noticed I managed to get 220 in there on, uh, on channel six, but I couldn't get it to transmit. So we just tap another one here to change. So it says here, modify, or oh, allow. Then we'll choose one of the, let's choose channel 10. Like so is it gonna let me click here? That's what it's showing now. We're listening to Hubnet there, I always listen to Hubnet. I definitely recommend that. So then I click these little three lines here, it takes me to the channel. Now we can start changing things so let's just put in one four five uh, dot seven five zero and delete here five dot one five zero so repeater so you transmit on one frequency which is one four five one five oh and then receive on another you do need the you need the transmit ctcss um i don't tend to use receive ctcss and that's 94.8 do that again. Power's there, by the way, and bandwidth. Uh, so, 94.8. Confirm. This is quite a new app. It's actually called Ola. Right, so, I'm pretty sure we've chose everything we want. Uh, name. We can actually make a note. So let's make a note. I'm going to put repeater. Just for fun. Um, but the name... G, B, 3, Bravo, Charlie, done. Um, da, da, da. And then we're going to go next. I'll go to the next channel, previous. I'm going to go back like so. And I'm going to go right to device and keep, keep a lot, an eye here. And it's writing. I put the, the link in to actually download the app Ola. I feel that other apps will work as well. There's one called Walkie Talkie, that's like a little blue one, but Ola is the one that that seems to be was advertised with what with the from the seller that I got it from. So if we go, that was number ten, was it? Let's have let's see if the name's here. There it is there. Uh, channel three. No, it was ten. Let's go to three. Let's go to ten. There it is there, GB3BC. That's the one we've just done. And it says here we can save. Save to our plan, confirm. Go back. Now, just regarding adding the device. So you've booted it up and there's, there's actually some quite a lot of information here, a lot of other radios that you can, it tells you about and more. Also your personal, you know, when you log in and your account, I don't know why they've given me Spectrum Thief. Uh, <laughs> maybe I need to, maybe that's not my account. But anyway, that's a weird one. But anyway, to add it, I just went plus and it searched because I couldn't find it in the list initially. And it just searched and searched and searched. To turn on the Bluetooth, you go menu, go down to wireless CPS, select and just turn it on. And that's all you have to do on the radio. It's a lovely looking menu. Okay, exit, right, and um, it, it's not finding it now, but it did It did find it. If we go to add manually, there it is there, add, I accept the conditions and pair. It could be that I have um, was already connected. Yeah, and if we look here, it actually says connected. So if I, I'm going to disconnect, and let's go back to devices and see if it will find me when I disconnect. So I've disconnected now just by tapping it. You see the little Bluetooth things here. Yeah. See, it says DM32. Now, as far as I know, the DM32 doesn't have Bluetooth, so 
I did try and connect it, but there must there may be a new model coming out that's going to have Bluetooth device. So we're going to plus again, and let's try and let, let's see straight away when it's disconnected, it's automatically found it. Da 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 mini, and then you do the same thing. Pair connect. Once you've pair connect, then you tap the actual radio. Let Bluetooth control off grid. What's that? But not that it's letting me select them. Read and write. It reads. You see it on the window here. And it looks great. Now it does work on my iPhones. I am what I really want to test it. So one sec. But you can see your memory channels there. These are the QR codes. On the left it says pretty sure iOS and on the right Android. And we were on Android now. Let's try iOS. There it is there. Ola. So we're gonna go get install. Sign in. Okay, downloading. It's such a diddy radio, isn't it? A few people have said it's like the TRD Radio H3. I suppose, but the TRD Radio H3, to be honest, does more. It does more bands. So I'm logged in. Hopefully it's just the same process. So that's just the one that just gives you information. Go back, device, then you want to go add, allow. I let it scan. I need to disc make sure I'm disconnected here, don't I? So we're going to tap it and it when it tap confirm. It should find it straight away now. It does. So it's exactly the same. UV5R pair and then connected. Want to read? They've done a good job, haven't they? Look, it's reading. So now I was logged in as M0FXB. I wouldn't say it reads fast, fast. But you think, I mean, some people have told me they got this for £12. I'll leave it live. And uh, thanks for watching. I put the link into purchase, of course. And you're going to think, well, why don't need it? I've got 20 radios. But then you won't have the fun that I'm having. That's what people, especially when you're talking the cheap, the low end, you know, the, the 20 pound and under. And that is, it doesn't matter if you've got 30 radios. If you go to McDonald's and you eat a nice bird quarter pounder and chips with some chicken nuggets and a Coke and you spend 15 quid and you spend that hour, you enjoy it. When you buy a ham radio, and I'm not even trying to sell. This is how I feel. I buy this. Okay, and every now and again I dig it out, like my same goes for my other radios, you've got things like here, like the Hack RF device. And I'm, I won't spend one hour, I'll spend the whole day enjoying it. I take it for a dog walk with me, it's, a, it's, it's plastic and metal, it's going to last, you know, in my life, pretty much forever, forever. So, when the people that buy radios and go, you know, only buy what you need, what a load of rubbish. It's a hobby. You buy what you're going to enjoy. That's the whole point of a hobby. As soon as you start only buying what you need and treating it like you're buying toilet paper, then uh, you're spoiling your hobby. Just focus. Am I enjoying this device? Can I afford it at this level? And, and, and instead of going, oh, this is rubbish. I'm not even going to say countries. This is rubbish. This is junk. Or just, 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 just buy one. Enjoy it. Or say nothing. But a modify configuration, allow while using app, and then look, we're straight into the different channels. Tap the channel. Where do we tap it? Oh, the three, the lines at the top, and then you can go to the next channels. You can go to pre channels, do the configuration. This is, this is very good. I'm very impressed with Bofeng on this. I don't know if, even if Bofeng can do it, but they need to make the air band so it's not sounding like it's off frequency. I, I'm not sure if it is AM. Um, and enable 220 megs. Do those two things, and everyone's going to love this set, because, should we just try and add 220 again? So, let's go to... We'll go next. There it is there, 220. I even call it 220. You don't need CTT, uh, transmit pal. Right, so, we've already done it, so... Um, let's go to menu six. So we can add it. Let's go to menu six. And when I try and TX, nothing. Nothing. 
Nothing at all. Well, it does on the video. Yeah, you've got twin PTTs on these. And a bright torch. And someone reminded me, because I forgot how to turn the torch on, but I knew in a video, press the middle button. When you press and hold, it does the scan. And if we do a... See if I can just quickly key up on one of my devices. Uh, let's change that frequency. That's there they are. Let's try now. It found it straight away. Did you see that? It's found it. Actually, it's picking up my hub now, I think. Slightly off frequency. They do tend to be. But come on. And then you've got full backlit keypad. Twin cable connections. Both fun cable for programming. And the software works fine. I've tested it. Bye for now. Please hit the like, subscribe. And remember, enjoy your hobby. Don't buy what you need. Buy what you're going to enjoy. 7-3, catch you on air. Just for comparison and a shout out to Todd on his receiver videos with Iron Man. And I'm a Superman fan. That's how big it is. 7-3.